lives. Thank you, Chris. The president of Emory University is apologizing after a picture surfaced of someone in blackface in a 1959 Emory yearbook. The school is now creating a university-wide legacy commission to address the issue. Old yearbooks are under a lot of scrutiny, of course, after Virginia Senator Ralph Northam was reportedly pictured in blackface. But his medical school yearbook was from 1984. That university had other pictures with racist images come to light, some as recent as 2013. But we think it's important to note that this yearbook from Emory is much older than that. Around the time this picture was published, black students were not allowed to enroll in some Georgia universities like University of Georgia and Athens. That rule changed in 1961, two years after the picture in the Emory yearbook was taken. Charlemagne Hunter and Hamilton Holmes were met with protests when they tried to register in Athens. The pictures are a chilling reminder of our state's history. Emory's president issued a statement saying in part, the offensive and racist images in our yearbooks cannot be erased any more than they can be forgotten. It is my fervent hope that they will serve as a reminder to all current and future Emory students, faculty and staff of the type of ignorance and hate we must passionately oppose. Charlene Hunter and Hamilton Holmes graduated from UGA in 1963. Emory University graduated its first African-American students that year as well.